Hello, and welcome to the Action Card Football Playthrough. Do a quick game here. See if we, I can explain everything that's happening. Pick your opponent's team. Pick your team. Here's how you match up. Statistically, there are seven abilities. Speed, cut, position, awareness, push, which is like run blocking. Block, which is pass blocking, and quarterback. And this is how... His defense matches up against your offense, and his offense against your defense. We have abbreviated quarters here. We're just going to be doing 10-minute long quarters instead of 15-minute long quarters. You pick a play, and you hit ready, and the action unfolds. Now when you're on offense, you're on defense. Uh, so these are the seven abilities. I told you before, speed, cut, position, awareness, push block, and quarterback. Uh, any particular play is only going to test five abilities at a time. And there's going to be a random number associated with each ability, and he has likewise. And when you roll the dice, whoever has the highest for a particular ability wins that ability. You want to win three out of the five abilities to move the ball forward. First down, we're going to start with an off-tackle run, something pretty traditional. And he's doing a run defense, which right off the bat gives him an advantage. So he's pushing me back on first down. Not unusual. Now, you see, when you move the ball in the direction you want to go, you're going to gain momentum for that drive. So he gained one push advantage, or one push uh, momentum for the drive. So that's I'm starting off bad. I'm going to do another run. I'm going to do a dive this time. Now, we have some numbers down here. That tells you the chance to get four yards, 10.5% 10, 10 chance of getting four yards, assuming that he doesn't pick a run defense. Well, he's defending a quick pass, so that's a good advantage for me. As you saw, my card hit his heart, card out of the way, and I have some, a lot of green here. So I won all five stats. That gives me extra multipliers. And I gain a one momentum for for awareness. First down. He wasn't expecting that. He played the exact wrong defense for my offense. Uh, there's also a star here. That means that that play right now, if I win that play, if I win that stat, I will gain the ability to upgrade one of my cards. You see over there in the corner. I have each play, or each player has a card associated with him. And when I run a play in which that player is an important, has an important part to play, his card is going to trigger. So I'm running a trap play now, which he ran a quick pass defense. I'm going to be able to win all five stats again. And I have a card uh, that's going to trigger. Now, it added something to a stat that uh, didn't matter, so... Because it's not the stat that you win by the most. It's not the stat that he wins by the most. It's the stat right in the middle that's going to be our main indicator of how many yards we're going to gain or lose. All right, let's try a quick pass on first down. Uh, this uh, running back screen has a 29% chance of going 4 yards, 4.7% chance of going 10 yards. Now, the numbers here, I was running the run plays before. They give you a plus 1 right off the bat. It's easy to gain 1 yard on a running play. But it only gives you times 1 multiplier on whatever else you gain. This gives you a times 2 multiplier, so... Anything that I gain in that middle stat is going to be, well, he picked the exact right defense, so it looks like I'm probably going to get sacked for some. Well, okay. He has a card that pops up, didn't really help me any. So, if I would have had a plus one, at least I would have gained some momentum, but I just had a times two multiplier, times two times zero. Two times zero is your yards. I have to do an incompletion. Uh, it's second down and ten. Let's do 
a long pass. And if I win position, I'll get a plus two to all my stats but position. So that's... He picked a defense that's perfectly suited for countering my long pass. So I'm just going to hope I don't get an interception or I don't throw an interception. My card did trigger, but I didn't have enough any of the stats to actually move forward do anything but a sack. So, after every play, I gain a card. So, third and 13, I'm going to do uh, this card right here as two. Okay. Uh, here's something else. You can upgrade cards. Whenever you win one of those stats that have the stars on it, you will gain the ability to upgrade one of your cards, make them more powerful. So apparently I did that. Let us add position of this card. So I'm going to have two cards trigger. It's a quick pass. A quick pass is strong against deep zone. Underneath the coverage. And I have two cards that are triggering. So I got a first down on that, which is good. I'm driving. I'm in the red zone now. And I gained some momentum, some uh, positional, and some block momentum. And if I want to win another upgrade, I have to contest push. This off tackle gives me the best chance. Of course, I'm in the red zone. It's first down. What are the chances that he's going to pick a running defense? Pretty good. But a run play and it gives me plus one right off the bat, so I can still get some momentum on this. Is Except he has three cards triggering him, pushing me back. I'm just lucky I don't get a fumble. Okay. Well, I have a quick pass play with two guys, two players. Uh, do I want to use that right now? It doesn't have a great chance for Do a run play. What are the chances? You would never suspect. I'd... All right, I'm going to do a, a run trap because that gives me the best chance to win awareness so I can upgrade one of my cards. Lucky for me, he picked a quick pass defense, so I'll, my run play has an advantage against that. And he has a lot of cards triggering. And luckily it didn't do too much. I mean, I only gained three yards and he gained a lot of momentum there, but I did gain that upgrade advantage, so it's third down. Let us make a go at this. I want to win three of these stats. My best bet to win stats are Cut, obviously, in awareness. Let's also give me a speed advantage. He's picking the perfect defense, a shallow zone against my wide receiver screen. And I still have those two cards triggering, so I might be able to get some yardage here. But. It's hard to score when you're in the red zone. Nope, it's going nowhere. That's all right. I'm going to take the points. Okay, 
and kick a field goal. Alright, let's kick off. That's a short kickoff. Now in defense, you don't know what uh, offensive play the other team is going to play, so all of your stats are seven wide, because it could be a run and play, in which case you would use these first five stats. It could be a quick pass, which wouldn't use the push or the block, or it could be a long pass, which wouldn't use the push and one of these four stats. So let's just try to win cut uh, so that I can get some upgrades on defense. Okay, I picked the right defense for his offense. He's doing a quick pass pick. I'm doing an A-gap blitz fake, keeping somebody back. And sure enough, he's gaining no yards. I'm gaining some momentum on this drive. And after every play, one of my players is going to get a card. The momentum is applied. Sorry, my cats are going crazy. Second down and 10. I'm going to defend against the uh, quick pass again, which is great as long as he picks a quick pass. If he picks a run, I might be in trouble. But he's going to quick pass pick again. I think I might have the uh, opponent AI set to stupid. All right, well, he still gained two yards. He's moving the ball forward, and he has quarterback momentum. Third and eight, I can put a stop to this if I pick the right play. And even if I don't, there's a chance. So I'm going to do a deep zone. I know that sounds kind of like prevent, but... Okay, now he picked a play that should have an advantage against that. He only got a plus one per stat because my play uh, was focused on the strong side and his offensive play was focused on the strong side too. If those didn't match, he would have gotten a two-point advantage in each stat. Now it's four and four. Uh, I have no punt defense in this game. I assume that you're going for it all the time even though I know he's going to punt it away. Just one extra complication. Didn't feel like implementing. Alright, so I have the whole field to uh, to drive down now. I'm going to start off with a, a run on first down, or is that too predictable? I do have two cards, and I do have some upgrades. So I can do some damage here. Now it might be smart for me to upgrade cut because this card here adds uh, whatever I win cut by to my yards. So there's kind of some synergy there between those two cards. So sure, why not? Let's run off tackle. He's doing a shallow zone. I'm strong against that. So this could go for some serious yardage. I won all five stats. So every stat that you win beyond the three that you need to move the ball forward or back gives you additional multipliers. So times one, times two, times three, and plus five because of that cut card that I have. So, hey, 29 yards on first down. That's a good way to start a drive. And I have a couple of cards, too, that I picked up. You know, keep running until they can stop it. Not sure, I just ran off tackle. It'd be kind of silly to run the same play twice in a row, but off tackle gives me the most uh, the best chance of winning speed for an upgrade. So, all right, I obviously, I'm going to pick, I'm going to upgrade awareness on this card because I don't really need any more help in cut. And he's doing a, a long pass defense. A run is not strong. It's not weak against that. So there's no advantage for either of us. Oh, 
that ended up winning four stats. So I'm going to get a times two multiplier. Gained six yards on first down. Second and four. Let's go for a quick pass slant. I'm going to upgrade my pump fake to take awareness wins and add it to cut. And he's doing a run defense, so there's no advantage, no, no disadvantage for me. All that for two yards. That's all right. I gained some momentum there. I gained some speed and some position oh, momentum. It makes it easier easier for me. It's third and two. I feel like I can run the ball and pick that up. Statistics here tell me that that's probable. And I'm hoping that. Uh, his card, hold, give me a little bit of an advantage in a cut, which I am losing right now, but when that card triggers, it'll actually push it to be a strength for me. So that's a nice little run, nice little pickup. All right, well now, each play lasts one minute, so the clock is ticking down in the second half. I have two plays until halftime. I'm at the 34-yard line, so maybe it might be my time to take a shot for the end zone right now. I do. There's some synergy between these two cards. This wall will give me a plus to position and block for the drive. And if I win position, I'm going to add plus two to all my stats, but I can upgrade it to give me plus three to all my stats. So Let's see what happens here. Of course, he's defending a long pass. So it looks a little bit grim right now, but depending on what of his cards trigger. So I'm going to get plus three to position, and then that's going to trigger. It's not quite enough to get me into the end zone, but... How do I go for it? One play left in the half. What are my odds? They're telling me that I only have a 10% chance of getting four yards. Well, I need 16, so I'm kicking a field goal. And it failed. You know, there's always a chance. Somebody puts a hand up. Well, his yardage uh, situation is abysmal. Maybe my defense is just that good. All right, let's kick off the ball. Let's start the second half. I'm going to do run defense on first down. I have some cards that carry over. Uh, in your head, this... Doesn't just give me a, uh, a stat plus for this uh, for this particular play, but it lasts for the entire drive. So this is a good card to start with. On first down, uh, I already have a pretty good cut advantage. So let's add some to my blocking, which will only ever be applicable if he is running a long pass. He's doing the same thing. He's using these cards that add a lot of momentum. So look at all that. So, although he didn't gain a whole lot of yards, he did gain five stat pluses. So he has, this drive, he has quite the advantage in speed. Luckily, that's just one out of seven stats. I'm going to... 
second and eight. We'll run a shallow zone. And he's going for the long pass. Stop and go. Now, as you can see, long passes right off the bat give you a minus one. But they give you times three, whatever that middle stat is. So, like I said, risk reward. So, I'm sacking him for three yards. And I gain some momentum. I'm pushing him back. Third down, third and 11. I'm going to defend the long pass. Going to do cover two. I have two cards, as long as he doesn't do a quick pass, which he did. I still might be all right. I mean, he has 11 yards he needs to get. And he doesn't have it right now, not unless he picks up a... He has no cards. He only gained six out of the 11 yards he needed, so. He's probably gonna punt it away. I'm doing deep zone, just to make sure. Try anything funny. All right, I can start a new drive here. Let's try a long pass. On first down, he did not see that coming. He was He's trying to stuff me with his run blocking. Well he got caught in the wrong defense. So I won all five stats. I'm gonna have a huge multiplier. I mean they get a minus one right off the bat. But then times twelve. Thirty-three yards, first down, and I gained some speed. Momentum. What are the chances that I can... Two. That long pass deep post really gives me a huge... Uh, the best odds by far of any of this. Plus it is a card there, so it looks a little bit lame running the same play twice. Well, he's not going to let me run the same play twice. He picked... Double eight gap blitz, which is strong against my my long pass. I still might pull this off unless he has some cards. She does. Okay, it's going to be an incompletion. So it could be a lot worse. Wasted down. Let's go for a run play. Let's just get run off tackle. No, we're going to do a dive. I want to win. Push for an upgrade. And he's running a quick pass defense, so my run play is strong against that. So far, so good. I don't think it's going to give me a first down. I need 10 yards, but I gained eight. And cutback is a good card to have in this situation because that lets me add whatever I win in cut to my yards, and I have a pretty good advantage there. And I can even upgrade that card. Give me plus two yards right off the bat, so I'm just gonna run this play. He's doing a, a quick pass defense, so I'm strong against that. I have the advantage. I win all five stats. Maybe a times four multiplier, unless he uh, yeah, he's upgrading his cards too. So I only win. Four out of the five stats, but that's still times two. I'll take a 12 yard gain. He did gain some uh, momentum advantage for me there, two to one. I'm going to do another running play. Off tackle. 
I want a wing cut, and luckily I'm really strong there. So He's caught in a quick pass defense again. He doesn't know me at all. This might go all the way. Now we're talking. All right, let's kick it off. So he's going. Aggressive right out of the right out of the gate. For a long pass. He's not going to get it. He needs to build up momentum first. That was not very smart of him. It wasn't as bad as it could have been. It's just an incompletion. If he would have rolled the dice a little bit better, it would have been a nice pickup for him. But he didn't. I think he's going to go for a uh, quick pass. I guess that. Fourth quarter. So, ten more plays. That's a good card that he has. But he didn't, uh, he didn't trigger it. Which is devastating, because that card could really mess me up if he had paired it with another uh, position plus card. Third and ten. I'm going to defend the long pass. And he's going underneath with a quick pass. That's a huge advantage. I think he's going to pick this up anymore. No. Doesn't look it, like it right now. All right. Well, I think I have the AI setting on stupid, so. Fourth and eight. Well, he's not going to go for a run. He might do a quick pass instead of punting it, but no, he thinks... His best option is to punt it away. Foolish. Well, I got all the time in the world. I'm going to run the play. I'm going to run first down. My left guard has quick feet. Now I'm going to dive. I want to win that advantage. Or that uh, great. So even if I don't gain anything but two yards, it's still helping me out. It's killing time, giving me a little bit of momentum, and in cut no less, which is helpful for a lot of my cards. Second and eight. Kind of would be silly, a real football coach probably wouldn't do a quick pass here, but... Yeah, let's do a screen. And he's uh, he thinks I was gonna run, he thought I was gonna run, so no advantage, no disadvantage. Either way, but I have a card that's gonna trigger and at least win me the upgrade and more. I got the first down on that. Okay, you never expect two running back screens in a row, right? 
sure enough now he's trying to stuff my run play again. This is working even though he had a Even though he didn't pick the worst play against me, he still did sack me for two yards. So I guess that's what I get for running two running back screens in a row. In a row. Second and 12. Let's just gain some of that yard, yardage back with a dive up the middle. That card I'm going to reset the momentum that he has on me. Hey, and he thought I was going for the quick pass, so I have the advantage here. I might gain all this yardage. I might get a first down. I'm getting it done. Deep pass, deep pass post. I'll add awareness to quarterback if I win. To cut there. Let's... All right, so I'm doing a long pass against his run defense. You never saw it coming. I'm going to win five stats, unless he has some amazing cards popping. He does have some pretty good cards, but I don't think it's going to make any difference in what's about to happen here. Could he go all the way? That's unfortunate. They just learned that they can play with the puzzle that's on that table over there. All right. Just defend long pass, eh? Deep zone. What do you think? Is it a good play, Kitty? Yeah. Well, he does have two cards, but it's not enough. All right, we're down to the last play of the game. It's pointless because I have 17, 17 points. So I'm just going to defend the run. And he's doing a sweep, so... That sounds very smart AI, yeah, is it? And all of his cards are blown up. But it doesn't matter. It's been one yard. Oh, five yards on his last play. And that's how you play the game. Show some statistics here. That was pretty dominating. 323 yards to 21. I did write the game, so. Uh, so we got Season, which is playing six games in a row. Upgrading between, between games by solving... Uh, well, I'm not going to get to it right now. By solving player problems with one of three ways, either with nurturing, discipline, or money. Uh, between every game, four players will come to you with problems and you try to solve them using those three things. We also have online play or invite a friend. Settings. Uh, 
Oh, so that we were actually on smart AI. I guess it's not really all that smart then, is it? Uh, can adjust the plays per game. 60 is a standard game we were playing abbreviated there. And that's the game. Thank you for watching.